Hello and welcome to this session on Postman beginner tutorial and today we are going to see what is collection in Postman and how do we create and manage collections in Postman. So we are going to see what is collection, how do we create collections, how can we create folders inside the collections and then how do we arrange our requests inside collection in Postman. So let's get started and to answer what is collection, collection is a group of API requests and that is as simple as it is. So it is a group of API request but if we go a little more deeper it is a group of API request where the API request can be stored and saved in logical arrangement. Now what does this mean? Let us go to our postman and here we have created a collection in our earlier session. Now you can go to the new tab or go to file and new. So I will go to the new tab here and it gives us a window for creating a new element or a block. So you can click on this collection and here it gives us this window where you can name your collection. So let me name it as collection 2. We have already created collection 1 and here you can give some description which is optional and then you have other options like authorization. So now this becomes very useful in case you are going to have a number of requests inside your collection that are all going to use some common authentication method. You can give the authentication at the collection level. So for example if I say I want to use a basic authentication. So here I can give the username and password which is being used by all the requests so I do not have to give the username and password in every request. But for now I will say no auth. Similarly the pre-request scripts you can give here. In case you have some common test you can give it here and then in case a uh, common variables for all your requests you can give it here. So for now I will just leave all this and say create and you can see we have the collection 2 created here which has zero requests. Now if you click on this arrow button here you can see we have some other options. We have an option to share the collection so you can share the collections among the workspaces. You have the option to run so if I click on run it, it will give us a collection runner window so it will run all my requests inside the collection. You can view on web if I click here you will get a browser opened and you can see the collection 2 here and all the details here and then you have options to edit, add folder, duplicate, export, monitor, publish, delete and so on. So for example if you want to click on monitor collection so with monitor you can run your collection periodically let's say in an interval of 15 minutes or 5 minutes and check for the response and performance and there are so many other things that we will learn in the coming sessions and then one of the important thing is you can create folders inside your collection. So if I select add folder let me say this is a folder for all the get requests so you can see you, we have got the folder here and similarly I will create another folder and say all the post requests should be getting into this post folder and you can see this is here. Now if I click in any of these I can add requests from here. I can add more requests inside the folder. So in this way you can do some logical grouping of your requests inside the collection and then collection also forms the basis for advanced operations in Postman and we will look at all these operations in the coming session. So I hope this session was useful for you. Please hit the like button and share with others and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next episode of Postman. Thank you for watching.